Hey guys, this is Tia from Jellyfish Creations, and I wanted to share a couple of hauls with you. Um, I've been out, I've been buying things, but I haven't had time to upload them between trying to get some swaps completed and just life, you know, life with kids. So this morning, um, I'm going to share some lace and trim hauls with you. And this first one here uh, is... Uh, something I got from eBay and I don't remember the seller's name right now. I'll have to go back I don't even have I don't even know if I got an invoice in the box So I'll have to go back and actually look at my eBay site, but um This was my first Laces or my first lace purchase from eBay and you know I didn't you know you don't know you don't know what you're going to get and I don't even I'm still learning about laces what's good what's not what's whatever so but I saw some things um, in this uh, lot that I liked um, the lot itself was like $7.99 I think I was the only bidder and then it was like $8 shipping so it was like 8 10 like 15 no I don't know what it was I know it came up to $17 and some change so um, the first lace is this here which is a stretch lace, slightly stretch lace, and an off-white color, which I like. And it was it was a fair amount. It was a good amount on the piece. And then this one, which is really pretty. I love this one. And this one which is another one I really love. I love that you could run some ribbon in the middle or something down the center of it. And then this one, this one's kind of different. I never really, it's, it's actually kind of hard, which I kind of like because I think it will be easy to work with and it would lay well on things like altered notebooks and stuff like that. And then there's this one which is a pinky mauve color that I like. This one, let's see. Oh, I should have had this ready. This one. Now, it's actually not this color. There's a little tag behind it. And then this one. very pretty again and this little piece just a little piece and I get most of my laces from Joann's that's pretty much the Joann's and Michael's except look at that that one's pretty the black with like little hearts a friend of mine a YouTube friend hooked me up with a new place this one's peach which you guys will see in the next part of this video. And then this has like a cranberry center, good for Christmas. Um, this one was nice, I like this one. It's crocheted and it's a two-tone. So it's like a cream and a coffee color, really cool. And then these were just a couple of pieces. Good enough, you know, definitely enough to use on something but not very much to it this one pretty it's got like a peach center and then actually you know I was kind of complaining thinking I didn't get a lot but as I'm doing this it's, it's a fair amount of lace this one you know I'm the I want like a huge bang for my buck I want like the deal of the century every time I do something so this one Uh, another piece here in this blue this one is has a little iridescent or little gold in it oh and I'm taping during the day today guys so hopefully you can actually see some of this stuff and I'm in my bedroom instead of in my craft room which is in my garage so there's not a lot of I don't get any natural light in that room and this one's like a antique blue here 
and then this one has some mint green in it I don't know if you can see that so well and that was a good little size piece and then here's another piece here and then a yellow which I really liked it's bright yellow it's, but it's really pretty and I'm hoping that I can use some type of mist on it that'll tone it down and then this one's a really pretty pale yellow here da -da -da. and then this is what made me go for the box um, because I saw this and I really loved it I like the other stuff that I saw but this I'm like oh if that looks like what I think it does I'm really gonna love it so this was kind of what made me go ahead and go for the rest of the box now this I don't know what this is this is kind of just this random crocheted piece that I have no idea what I would ever use it for but you know put that creative mind to use and something will pop up here's another little small piece Another little trim, small piece. Uh, yellow gingham with a flower trim on the end, which I thought was really pretty. And then a couple of random seam bindings here. Some blues, mostly in blues, brown. And then one red and beige rickrack. So I would go with the fact that these are all vintage laces. Um, now, when I remove this box, this is going to be the second half. Sorry, guys. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing this. The second half of my lace haul. And this was from a local store here that my friend, my YouTube friend, Anna Giannis, um, turned me on to. And her YouTube channel is Anna Giannis 2, I think it's 2, well, I'll put it below, she has some amazing work, I mean her, her stuff is just absolutely amazing, so she told me about this local um, lace and trim shop uh, here in Miami, and I went to check it out yesterday. Uh, it's called Marcelino's. Now, most everything here that's rolled or wrapped, most of this was um, three or four yards for a dollar. And then I also got these buttons. I went in the back room and saw that he had a bunch of buttons back there. So I picked these up. They're all plastic. Some of these centers, which are a good size to put in the middle of like rows flowers and stuff like that so I thought these were all pretty a little bit different so I picked those up and then I picked up these laces I found this mint green one very pretty I found this salmon colored very large this is a large piece right here a yellow a really pretty pink this one is white with this little pink center and then another white here this got a nice you know center portion you can run bling or something down and then I found these three this one's like a baby blue and these are all the same style these next three this is a baby blue this is kind of like a Victorian pink. And then this is a brighter turquoise teal type green. And then here's another Victorian blue. But this one actually has a light blue and then a medium blue here in the center. So it's two-toned. Very pretty. And then this really pale pink, very soft pink, uh, this almost emerald green trim, which I thought was very pretty, this black and pink lace, 
here. It's a really soft, um, almost like a Prima Pink. I've made up my own color. It's called Prima Pink. And then another black lace. And then this is one of my favorite finds. This pleated ribbon here. Love it. Gorgeous. Here's another trim. And a white. Here's a lace. I only got a little bit of this because it was creased and I didn't know if it was going to work well where it was creased. I have to see if I can get the lines out. And then here's another flower trim and some lavender lace and some looped trim which I really like this is like actually an off-white and a cream the top is off-white and the actual loops are a cream and then this was my favorite piece this one was actually like a dollar a yard he gave it to me for a dollar a yard Again, sometimes I don't know if I'm getting the best deal. Like, I know this other stuff was a great deal. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. I fell in love with this. And he only had this one kind of aqua. But it's got a little, you know, opening here. You can run lace through it. You can put bling through it. You can cut it apart. It's long. Oh, I love it. And then I had brought some pieces he has some stuff outside. So I brought some rolls inside. You know, I thought those are probably like the super deals. You got them super cheap. So I had brought them in and I wanted to get them cut. But what he did with those is he doesn't cut them. You actually buy the whole thing. And so the first, when I, when he did that, I didn't like what I had. I didn't feel that what I have, I would want to have like whole rolls of it. So he let me switch it up. And then this is the stuff that I got from outside. So there's this really fine yellow, pale yellow, small trim. And I'm, I'm trying to build up a stash. So I wanted things that, you know, I could use all the time or I could swap with. This one is an off-white. This is a natural color. Things that, that I could go to, you know, not like... Um, Here's another one that I could use all the time. And then this little fine one, which I love this. This, you know, when you want to have a second layer or I thought that was really pretty. And then this one, I really like this one too. This is another two-tone. This one's crocheted. No, no, it's not. It's, it looks like it's crocheted, but it's not. But it's got like this fine pale yellow trim at the top and then a natural bottom and then a pale pink very pretty and this is a lilac lavender color which I thought was very pretty and then these last three, oh, this pale blue with like this little tulip bell at the bottom. I thought that was really pretty. And then these are actually, I guess, more of a trim than a lace. So there was this lavender here. And there's a good amount of that on the skein and then this one now this one was my up uh, my kind of uh, I don't know but I said you know what something's gonna happen you're gonna wish you had gotten it so there's this taupe beige color here and I think what I didn't like was the little pieces hanging down at the bottom I don't know so you guys let me know what you think I don't I don't know if um this will go over so well but let me know what you think. And then this last one was another piece I liked, but it was discolored. It had um, several areas where you could see that either something has spilled on it or, um, 
I'm not sure, but I mean, it was far enough apart and I'm going to try giving it a little, a light wash because I thought it was so pretty. This was, this is one of the original pieces I had. So, and I know that this would have been, you know, a pretty penny. See, there's some areas here where this one's, this one's real fragile, but I still think it's really pretty. Look at that. So those are my two lace and trim hauls. And then my last piece was a dress. I saw that everybody, you know, was um, using the, what do you call them, the applique. So I went to my local Goodwill and I've been checking it out, trying to see if I could find a wedding dress. And I actually found a child's bridesmaid dress. So I found that and I want to pull it apart. And it was five bucks, five bucks for the dress. Um, here's the tag, $5, and then here's the dress. I actually kind of started pulling it apart already. So, but it's a lot of work. So there's one of the little pieces of trim. And then the way the dress is made is, you know, it opens in the front like that so all of this here on down around the edge and all the way around the back is trim at the bottom and then the pieces in the front so I thought for five bucks up oh, not bad and it'll be fun to try something different so thanks for watching guys uh, I'll put the necessary information at the bottom and um, hope you have a happy and blessed Sunday. See you later. Bye.